This is number 20, 29. All right, so let's go with our understanding of angles again. OK? So we know that this is our initial side, correct? And we know if we rotate an angle halfway around a circle, that is pi, correct? If we go all the way around the circle, that's 2 pi, correct? OK. However, you guys can see this is in terms of 6. So I want to make sure everybody agrees with me. Um, rather than using 2 pi and pi, I'm going to use 6 pi over 6 and 12 pi over 6. Does everybody agree with me that's the exact same thing? OK, it's, ex it's the exact same thing. Um, and if you guys want to think about it, you could also look at, look at it like this. 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 6 pi over 6. Does everybody agree? I just broke up pi into 6 6. Just like remember when you learn fractions, like, hey, take a candy bar, cut it up into 12s, right? And count how many. So we know that this is, one, this is a whole. This is the measurement of this is one whole pi. So basically, if we're doing six sections of it, then it's six full sections. So that six sections going the other way would be 12 sections. They want us to do a triangle that's 13 sections. Well, if that's 6, that's 12. That means we know the terminal side of the angle is going to be right there. Would everybody agree with me? Yes. yes. So in reality, the angle doesn't stop here, but the angle stops there. So that's our terminal side. However, ladies and gentlemen, so that is our theta. Can we? Yep, terminal is where it stops. So it started there, wrapped around with him. However, ladies and gentlemen, can we do a triangle with an angle that looks like that? No. no, right? We need to evaluate for sine. We need to have a triangle. So there's a couple things we you guys um, could do. Now, on this one, you guys, with graphing, visually graphing, you could probably see what the, um, what the reference angle would be or how you could create a triangle. The reference angle is just going to be from there to there. However, if you have angles that are like really big or really, really small, we could always find a coterminal angle. And if you remember, our definition of coterminal angles was angles that have the same initial and terminal side. And then all you need to do to do that is going to be add 2 pi or subtract 2 pi. Well, if I add 2 pi, that's going to go around the circle one more time. That's not going to help me out, right? So I could subtract 2 pi, which would then just give me that angle which was our, um, would just give me that angle, which then I could create one. Yes, sorry, question. So if I subtract 12 pi over 6, I get pi over 6. Can I now create a triangle with there is my theta being pi over 6? Yes. So sine of 13 pi over 6 is the same thing as sine of pi over 6. Why are they the same thing? Because the angles have the same initial and terminal side. Do you guys agree with me? The angles have the same initial and terminal side. So it doesn't matter how many times I wrap around, the angle is exactly the same. But this angle I can create a triangle with. I don't need to create a reference angle because the angle is its own reference angle. Now, pi over 6, I go back to my little chart. Ooh, that's the same thing as sine of 30 degrees. And then by the time you do this so many times, you guys are automatically almost should, should have sine of 30 degrees memorized. And, but however, if you don't, you just go back to your little reference sheet of your 60, 30, 90 triangles. And then you say sine of 30 degrees. That's my adjacent. That's my hypotenuse. That's my opposite. Opposite over hypotenuse. So that equals 1 half. Anybody have any questions on that? Since I did not use a calculator. Yes? You're talking about on 120, or the one with 120. Huh? Yeah, 